now that I've got all the wires that I need, they're all cut, I need to strip off the ends so I can solder them to the layout. So, then I give it a little twist just to stop any of the frays going off to the side. And I'll just do that for all. All of them. Slide a number of them. Got some flux here, I'll just give the ends a bit of clean with the flux. So now I <clears throat> need to drill the holes that I'm going to use to feed the feeder wires through. So I'm going to just put a little bit of flux on the rail here. This is a clean free flux, it's rubbed off but it's um, supposed to be not corrosive, non-corrosive. So we flux that, now we want to tin it with just a very small amount of solder. it. So I get the wire. I just want to shorten it a little bit so cut a bit off. I want to flatten the end of it. Squash it down and then bend it over like that. So now I'm left with a small spike. I feed it, feed the wire down through the hole. Angle it and I just bend it over a, a little bit so that it wants to press against the rail. So when I pull it down, it's, it wants to slide in between the rail. So I get it right to where I've got that piece of solder. Just give it a touch. And that's it. Now that's soldered on, when I pull on it, it's not coming out. You can see that pulling the rail down if you look carefully, it's on nice and tight. So all I have to do is <clears throat> do that for the rest of them and then that's it for the um, feeder wires. See if I can get a bit of a closer. Let's look. And if you look down the rail, it's you can hardly even tell it's there. Once that's painted you and ballasted, you won't even know.